Well, Randy, just like the inside, the outside has a lot of a lot of value and a lot of great features on it. Just Absolutely. real quickly, let's just start with the way the passport is built. We've got aluminum studding through the walls that run through the walls. Absolutely, and that goes to that lightweight. Is uh, these walls are built on a bench, aluminum substructure, block styrofoam. Great R value, great weight in the the build of this guy. Okay. One thing here we notice is the sweep back on the front of this trailer. If we look at the aerodynamic airflow, the air is going to hit the front of this and just roll right over the top, making it easier to tow better gas sure mileage. Sure does. They actually use wind tunnels nowadays, so they can. we do see gas mileage changes from the newer campers, from some of the older stuff we saw out there. You will see a difference cool. for sure. Um, looking here at the front compartment, the first thing I know is it's an insulated door. It's got some weight to it. It is. It's not one of those flimsy ones that you see on a, little, a lot of the lightweights out there, so they haven't skimped there as well. It's that build quality. Inside here, I don't know if you can see this in the video, we've got a lot of aluminum substructure. So not only we've got it in the sidewalls here, but we've also got it down here built in underneath this compartment. Um, and they run the flooring straight up so it's not cut. They run the flooring straight through and I love to see the aluminum there that is all welded. And typically on a lightweight you see the wood stuff under there and it's just stapled together and that just doesn't go to durability. Where in this guy here, it's, I, they're setting the standards and everybody else is trying to follow and they're not getting there. Yeah, and that's when we talk about price differences too. Why is that trailer, or why is that Jayco, which uses wood studding cheaper than the You're the absolutely passport. right, right back to the quality of the build. If they are less money, there's a reason for it and that's some of those things are the reasons. I'm going to spend a little bit more and get something with quality. Yep. Uh, stabilizer jacks on all four corners here, crank downs. Put at an angle, a little bit more stability that way. Yep. I see here we've got a nice awning. Uh, tell us a little about the awning. It's the Dometic electric awning. So it's just, I have, I, I love showing young families this because I love to take the kids and show them how easy it is to put out. Uh, my three-year-old daughter can run this awning out, no problem at all, and she can bring it back in. So if you've ever used one of those old awnings and had trouble with it, Great awning, we can also pitch it as well. This is the second generation. It is the generation two, absolutely. This has a site where we can tilt it side to side. I tell these cool frameless windows. What's the advantage of a frameless window? They give us a great look, first of all. Um, and they're also tinted, kind of like the windows of old. So we do cut down on that UV out there. Nice sleek look, a uh, little less apt to leak um, just because of the way they're built. We can open most of them on these guys. So um, I, I love to see it on the Elite. And it's one of those things that just separates it from the other guys out there. This will crank out. I mean, you can see the seam right there. Absolutely. So you can look the amount of, amount of airflow you get through there, plus the amount of light that it lets through at the same token here. So we go back a little bit, Randy. We've got the new stairs on this. We do the new stairs. No more sandpaper on these guys. So not any place to collect the dirt and anything like that they just cut right through they're uh, grounded so they give us a nice bigger tread pattern nice and easy to get up in there free on this guy at two if we get a little older i know uh, i'm putting on a couple pounds a lot easier for me yeah. to get up three than there is two we've also got this great grab handle here to help out the big guys like me <laughs> uh, outside speakers so we can annoy our neighbors anytime we choose Absolutely. to <laughs> Tell me a little bit how we save weight with the slide system. Again, as we talked about in side chat, uh, unlike the traditional rack and pinion, we're using cables on a pull-pull system to move this slide in and out. So um, we're saving about three to 600 pounds per slide. We don't have all that steel underneath. We're pulling from all four corners, which is gonna give us a better seal. All the mechanics are inside the trailer, so nothing to lube up, nothing to maintain out here. Everything's inside, out of the elements. Love to see it on the passport. Plus, this gives us, when we don't use the Schwinn tech, we can get the flush we have the flush floor slides on this guy, which just having that step in front of the couch doesn't work for me personally. And I know it doesn't work, and when I mention it to a lot of other people out there, that will change uh, change their mind. Aluminum wheels. Uh, Aluminum some of the wheels things on the, the back side we can't see, you had mentioned earlier. Sewer flush, um, which I really love to see. Uh, my camper's been reading full on the black side for 10 years now, so having that sewer flush out there will definitely uh, keep that down, plus give us a cleaner tank to start with uh, when we get done our, our camping season. Um, just. As a whole, uh, this is a great unit, a great lightweight, lots of great amenities that we don't see on a lot of the other lightweights out there, and a great build, great way to put it together. I love the Elite, and I love to have it as part, part of Pete's RV's family. All right, man, I appreciate you. The inside, the outside, we'll just do a quick wrap up here, and uh, we'll be done. Sounds great, Chad. All righty. Hey, Randy, as we conclude about this Passport Elite, we've shown the people you get a lot for your money on this model. You get an upgraded ultralight travel trailer, a lot of great features, and still at a great price where you're not breaking the bank to get something like absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. I love uh, that uh, we have the new Passport Elite here at Pete's RV, and I'm super excited about it for this season. So if you're looking for a great price at a Passport, get, get to us here at the dealership. You can reach me or Randy here every day or the dealership itself. Uh, any questions, I'm Chad at Pete's RV. I'm running a little late, Chad. <laughs> So okay. I'm going to have to get out of here and get on to the next shoot, but definitely come see us on the Passport Elite, and uh, I'll see you guys a little later. You rock stars are all the same, man, I tell you. Thank you, Randy. Hey, guys, thanks for thinking Pete's RV.